Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me, but I'm really excited because the products I'm going to be using in today's video are some products that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Especially excited because we're going to be trying out the new Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. Really excited to get into this product. I have a couple of other products that I'm going to be using that I also got from the sale, but I do plan on doing a big VIB sale haul because I have a package that I'm still waiting on. But yeah, let's go ahead and get some makeup on this face. Because I heard that the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen is very, very dewy and I can be pretty oily and I do want this makeup to last me hopefully all day, I want to go in with a mattifying primer. So I'm using the Milani No Pore Zone mattifying primer. I feel like some of the Milani primers benefit from being like shaken up a bit. Pretty much all primers, probably. See, so I'm just gonna press this product into the skin, especially like some of the areas that I get really oily. So like in between my brows, I get pretty oily on my chin. So I picked up the shade Ocean Park in the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. I picked this up at Sephora, so I like actually went to the store and I was able to swatch some of the shades. I was pretty surprised by how the shades swatched and what they looked like in person. I feel like the shades on Sephora's website, I haven't looked on Tower 28's website, but I felt like the shades on Sephora's website were really, really misleading considering how they looked in person. In person, I felt like the shades that I thought were dark online were way lighter in person. So yeah, I went with 25 Ocean Park. I really hope that this one ends up looking fine on me. I love the packaging. I think that this little tube is so cute. I love when foundations have the squeezy tube with like the clear tube top. I just think that's so cute looking. The LA Girl Tinted Foundation has that sort of packaging and I really like that. So that is the shade Ocean Park. Ooh, it's very, very runny. I'm hoping it feels pretty thin on the skin. I've heard that it's really dewy and it has a bit more coverage than people were expecting. The only review that I've seen on this tinted sunscreen is from Rainier and I'll link her video down below. I just watched it the other day. It's like a full face of Tower 28 and she did a pretty in-depth review on the tinted sunscreen. And also she uses the shade 35. So if you had that shade in mind and you wanna see what it looks like, on the skin, definitely reference her video. The Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen is an SPF of 30. It is reef safe, it's a mineral sunscreen, and it's alcohol free. I quite like this shade match. I think that it might be a little... Like I could maybe go with like a little bit more warmth, but I'm really enjoying the coverage that I got from it. And I think that the tone of it is pretty perfect. Also, I know I have this big monster on my face. It was way bigger last night and now it just feels bruised. I like popped it last night and it just feels bruised this morning. So we're gonna deal with that. It's like not protruding like it was last night, but it's definitely still there. I feel like it's looking really smooth all over the skin, except for this small section on my forehead, like in between my eyebrows. I feel like it's not as smooth as it could be. It kind of looks like I'm at risk of it separating right in that area. So we'll just have to see and keep an eye on that. But I'm really happy with the coverage that I got from this and I'm pretty happy with the shade that I picked out. I was also looking at the shade 30, but it was a bit lighter than this and very yellow. So that's why I didn't go with 30. For my concealer today, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I wear mine in the shade 280. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of it. And then maybe I'll do it like a little bit on my forehead area to kind of, you know, even out the face. Going in with a sponge to blend my concealer out. I wanted to use a brush for the tinted sunscreen because I had heard that it was super duper dewy and I didn't really want to add, you know, any more dew into my skin since I am oily. I feel like even running my sponge over this area between my brows, it did smooth it out a little bit. So I'm not as concerned about it right now. Maybe this product would benefit from being blended out with a sponge, um, but yeah, so far everything's looking really good. I'm taking a brush and patting it over the concealer so I can get the most coverage out of that. That's not looking too bad, okay. Usually not like too concerned with covering up my pimples, but that one is just 
right in the middle of my face. I'm going to try and mix bronzers today because I think that the Tower 28 Bronzino in Best Coast is a little, it's a little deep for me at the moment. So I'm going to take a bronzer that is a little bit too light for me, which is the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer in Medium. And I'm gonna swirl my brush around in that. And then I'm also going to swirl my brush around in the Tower 28. Probably a lot of product, but let's get it on my face. Just kind of dipping the brush in between sides because I don't want one side to get too much product. I'm glad that these are mixing well. I was kind of worried to mix them because the Tower 28 formula has those shimmers throughout it, but I think that this actually looks really pretty. I'm skipping over to my brows now so that I can let the NYX brow glue kind of sit in my brows for a little bit. I'm like really almost done with my NYX brow glue. I kind of just want to go through some brow products, use some things up. I feel like brow products are the easiest products to use up, in my opinion. After I can go through some of those and use some of them up, I'm going to repurchase my NYX brow glue. Pulled you guys in just a bit closer. You can have a little bit of a closer look at the skin. I'm really enjoying the appearance of it. When Rainier said that the product was super dewy in her video, I was kind of worried that it was going to kind of feel and look like oil on the skin. But the tinted sunscreen from Tower 28 is actually looking really good. And it worked really well with the Fenty concealer. I'm not going in with any primer because I am going to use a new Danessa Myricks color fix. And those are super duper long wearing on their own. I am going to get a little bit of color in the crease though. So I'm going in with the Pacifica Pink Nudes Mineral Eyeshadow Palette. And I think... With the color that I have from Vanessa Myricks, I think I'm going to go in with Roused right here. That kind of peachy shade. My brush is a little dirty. It has some shadow on it from a previous time. So I'm just going to run that through the crease. But like this skin look kind of wavy right by my big zit over there. I don't know what was going on. It hurts. It like hurts when I move my brows. All right, that might be the only little crease shade that I pop in there. I've had my eyes on the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Ballerina for quite some time now, but I've been kind of avoiding it because I was afraid that this was going to look super frosty on my skin tone. You know what I mean? You take a look at a shade like this and I just feel like shades like this, no matter like if they're pink, if they're blue, if they're whatever, they will look very silver on me, but this is different. I swatched it in the store and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. There was another one that was kind of like a green, magenta, duochrome that like I wasn't loving, but it was kind of a little chalky and not as smooth. But the Ballerina shade is very smooth and it's just beautiful. It's super reflective. But I was worried that it was going to look super silvery on my eyes and just not look the way that I would have liked. But it is gorgeous all over the eyelid. Just as sort of like a one and done shade. It's just a beautiful wash of pink shimmer. And I'm so thankful that it ended up looking this way on the eyelids because I really did not want it to be like super frosty silvery all over the eyelids. But I feel like whatever the like pinky base is that's not shimmery in this color fix, I feel like it turns almost a bit rosy on my skin tone and just the combination of that sort of light rosy base and then the really reflective very fine glitter shimmer throughout it is just so gorgeous like I think that's so pretty that's the look like that is it and I'm just gonna add mascara. I just got up to grab my lash curler and I always like to check my makeup in the bathroom mirror just to get like different lighting. 
Makeup is looking awesome. I'm actually really, really happy with the shade of the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. Again, I got the shade 25. I think that it's a really perfect spot on match once everything has like settled. But yeah, just curling my lashes now. I really just wanted to keep everything super simple on the eyes. Another great thing about these shadows is they really don't budge even without primer. They just don't budge. Sometimes you might get a tiny bit of creasing like as soon as you apply them But if you kind of like immediately blend that back out with your brush or your finger It won't budge after that I think it just might be like the initial dry down time and obviously when you have your eyes open There's like a little bit of creasing happening. So as soon as they like officially dry down They are there Until you kick them off a mascara that I've been really enjoying lately is the new Mob Beauty mascara. Mob Beauty is known for having kind of like your forever compacts. They created this mascara so the tube can last you forever and all you need to do is replace the actual product which they sell kind of like refills for on their website. And I've been liking this mascara a lot. It creates really soft long volumized lashes. My eyes never feel irritated whenever I use this product and it is easy to take off at the end of the day. So love all that. I've just been using this very old Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I don't even have a cap for it. I've just been using it. I have quite a bit more product to go. I'd love to see this out of my collection at some point. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going through my brows and lightly applying this wherever I need a little bit of extra fill. So really mainly on the tail ends. Although I do like to always apply a little bit like right in the front of the brow, like the bottom front just to kind of get a little bit of definition down there and then yeah just like really light strokes just adding color into the brows making it seem like they're a little fuller i don't really think i need to separate my lashes much i do just like to go through them i feel like it's nice it kind of like gives a little bit of a lifted look to the lashes you can get out any little clumps this is just the ulta beauty lash separator. A great thing about those Danessa Myricks color fixes too is since they are like a cream liquid formula, you really don't get any fallout. For blush, I pulled out two of my Tower 28 Beach Please blushes, one in Power Hour and then the other one in Magic Hour. I didn't want my cheeks to be as dark as Power Hour and I find that Magic Hour can be a little bit too pale sometimes. So I want to mix them. I'm just going to take a little bit of both. Oh yeah, I think that's going to make like the perfect shade. Oh, I forget how much I like these cream blushes. I kind of wish I picked up another one. They're just so creamy and really blendable in the skin. It's really hard for me to get product from my little Minori pots unless I'm using a brush, but I wanted to use the highlighter today and I don't like using brushes with cream highlight. I like to use sponges. So I'm going to like just try and dip my sponge in there. I like using like a little tiny makeup sponge, but I didn't grab one. I don't want to run back for it. Oh, I love that Minori highlight so much. It's stunning. It's probably like my favorite cream highlight that I've ever put on my face. And that's saying a lot. I'm going in with a little bit of lip liner. This is the Milani lip liner in 04. I talk so much trash about these lip glosses. I really dislike the Tower 28 lip glosses. I don't like them. And I don't know why I picked this set up at Sephora the other day, other than the fact that I think that they're so cute. I think that the Tower 28 lip glosses are adorable. 
and I wish I liked them and I especially just think that this Just Add Milky lip gloss duo is so cute. I'm kind of thinking like maybe I'll like the clear one maybe yeah i just don't like these lip glosses i think that the texture of them really upsets me and then they just get into the mouth so easily and then your mouth is just like full of lip gloss film so between that and the texture just being almost too soft like i wish it wasn't a problem for me but it is it's like almost just too soft so yeah, between all that, I really dislike the Tar 28 lip glosses, but this little set, I just couldn't, I could not pass it up. It was $22 for both of these. I feel like I might like the clear one more than the ones that have actual pigments to them, but I am going to be going in with one today. This is the shade Chestnut from that little duo and it has like gold glitters throughout it it's a little orangey brown let's use it i have used it before looks like caramel on the lips that's pretty cute i hate that okay so far so good it's feeling okay I feel like I can already feel it in my mouth. So this is my skin with no powder. I love it. I wish I didn't feel like I had to set my skin, but I've just heard that the Tower 28 Tint and Sunscreen is so, so dewy. And with me just having naturally oily skin, I know how exactly how this is gonna look at the end of the day if I don't at least do a little bit of setting powder. I'm taking just the lightest dusting of my Undone Beauty Under Over Powder. I have mine in the shade Banana Bear. And yeah, just like the lightest dusting all around. I'm going to spray my face with Urban Decay All Nighter. I just put my hair up because it was kind of bothering me, so it's just gonna be up. <laughs> I also have the hiccups. But yeah, that's the completed face. It's beyond simple, but I especially wanted to try out the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tint and Sunscreen. Really happy with it and loving how it's looking on the skin. I really hope that I like the wear of the Tint and Sunscreen from Tower 28. We will have to see though. The time right now is 1040. I will check back in in just a few hours before I leave for babysitting and show you guys what my makeup is looking like at that point. So I'll be back in a few hours for a little check-in so we can kind of just document how everything is looking, if I'm looking super duper oily or everything is still looking pretty decent. Ever since daylight savings time, I've really been struggling with the lighting in this home. The laundry room has much more pleasant lighting for sure i am very very pleased with the way that my makeup is looking right now it is a little after three so the tower 28 tinted sunscreen has been on for about five hours now i am not at all the oily that i thought i would be like i wouldn't even call this oily i would just be maybe call it dew like it's really not even oily um have a little bit of oil going on on my forehead a little bit like on the cheeks kind of where my nose is but like it's really not even that bad everything on my skin still looks there um i feel like my under eyes just have like tiniest bit of creasing that's more so the fenty concealer though um i feel like overall my skin still has the same amount of coverage i don't feel like there's been any fading which is awesome i cannot wait to continue trying out the tinted sunscreen from tower 28 seeing how it works almost without powder I would try next time and then just different concealers. Really impressed. I feel like I'll probably be using this pretty often, but that is going to be it from me today. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts on the new Tower 28 tinted sunscreen. Um, let me know also if you were able to be successful with the shade range, if you found a shade that works for you, because I feel like people might be struggling, especially if you don't go into the store and swatch them. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I will see you next time.